Hey everybody, how's it going tonight? Happy Sunday. Ron from Four Season Barbecue. I haven't made a video in a couple weeks. Need to get on a more steady, uh, steady video thing here. Do them once or one or two a week. Anyway, tonight I'm doing hamburger sliders, cheeseburger sliders, and uh, I'm gonna do them in a little different way. So. I don't know if this will work or not, but I got some uh, ring molds from Amazon the other day, and I can't remember, there's 12 or 15 of them that come all different sizes, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this out, I'm going to put the hamburger down, one big old shot, like that. That sizzle. And then uh, after it's cooked and cheese on it and everything, the cheese probably gonna make a big mess. Take those ring molds and cut it to the perfect size of the bun. We got those little butter flavored Hawaiian rolls, not the sweet rolls, but we got the butter flavored rolls. So I'm gonna give this a flip when it's ready. And then Put the cheese on it, cover it to melt the cheese, take it in the house, cut them all, and then uh, put them on the bun, dress them up with lettuce and the pickles and the tomatoes, and, and uh, I'll give you a taste test when they're ready. Bring you guys back here in just a little bit. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up, ring the bell so you get notified. Anyway, be back here shortly. Oh, that baby's shrinking up even in the great big form. Gonna we'll have some thick old sliders. Anyway, there's all those ring molds that I got off of Amazon. They go from four inches to this little tiny thing. But I want to say it was like ten bucks, and I think there's twelve in there. But yeah, we're gonna have a little Hawaiian roll, so. Probably use that one. Probably get about eight burgers out of that. But anyway, let me give this a flip. See if we can do this without breaking it. Yeah, look at that. Perfect flip. I get ready to throw the cheese on there. I got white and yellow American cheese. Get ready to throw the cheese on there. I'll bring you back. All right, let's get some cheese on here. Oh, that's not much bigger than a regular burger anymore. This is a pound and a half. leave a little bit off of my daughter. My daughter don't like cheese on her burger. Anyway. Put the old <laughs> steamer lid over the top. Milk that cheese. When cheese all melted, we'll bring it back. We'll cut one out. Build one. Do a taste test for you. Be right back. All right, let's check it out and see how this cheese melted. Whoa, you got melted all right. I'm gonna put these over here on the cutting board. Some cheese skirt there.
We got the bucks. Top one's kind of fell apart a little bit. And I forgot to tell you guys that when I did the, when I seasoned the meat, the Suckle Buster is 1836. I love that stuff. Ever since I got it, I use anything else. There's other good stuff out there. But it ain't suckle busters. I'll tell you that. Get these buns toasted up. I'll bring you back here in a little bit and show you how I'm gonna build the sandwiches. No, I don't want to cover those up. I'll be right back. There's the buns. A little darker than I would like. Ooh, there we go. Nice and brown. Golden brown. Looking good. All right. Let me get this stuff to... I just had these two burn center burners going. The two outside ones weren't even on. Don't need them for something like that. Anyway, get this shut down. And I'll get the stuff ready. To make the burgers and I'll show you how I do it. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna cut one burger out of here because everybody's in the house saying, where's our food? Anyway, there's the, there's the size of the bun. So I'm gonna make the burgers about that big. Let's see if this is a fail or not. out really good yeah. perfect burger for the bun all right let me take the food in so everybody can eat then I'll be back out and make my burger all right let's do this this bottom bun. Get some mustard on there. Get our burger. Let's see. Oh, let's get us a little piece of lettuce. Tomato, onion, and some pickles. Gotta have pickles. Is that right, Charlie? You gotta have pickles? And a little squirt of ketchup. And our little cap. What do you think of that? Ain't that little sucker cute? Alright. Get us a bite of this. I'm going to keep it together. Mm -hmm. I figured all that stuff on there is going to try and fall apart. Mighty tasty. Use that Suckle Busters 1836. You can't go wrong. It's the best. I know it says the best in Texas. Mm. Probably best everywhere. <clears throat> Clean up my mess here. I don't know if you can. No, he left. I don't know if you can see my dog down here staring at me. Mm. 
anyway, that's the end of the video. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Hope you all have a great night.